My first YouTube video, I finally did it, man. I'm gonna jump right into it. My name is Austin Abeda. I work for a US company that allows me to be remote from whatever country I want. So I'm currently traveling the world. I started posting about my life on TikTok about nine months ago. I got 8 million likes. So many people were asking how to get started doing what I do and starting from scratch, right? This video is gonna take you no matter where you are from zero to 100 in the fastest way possible. I plan on providing an insane amount of value. I have a document with links that go along with this video. I break everything out step by step with the path I wish I took six years ago because this would have saved me $87,000, so pay attention. First step, understanding your industry and role. This video is gonna be focused on data analytics. So why data analytics? One, no degree is needed. Two, there are massive amounts of jobs in this field and it's only growing. Three, the median salary is $74,000 a year. And if you plan on doing what I do, traveling while you work, that 74K is gonna feel like 174K in some countries. Also, a ton of different industries use this field. There's a lot of room for upper mobility to become a data engineer or even a data scientist with time. Getting your foot in the door is the most important part. Okay, let's get into it. The first step, this is only gonna take you about 30 minutes. I've linked some awesome YouTube videos below that explain the day-to-day -day life of a data analyst so you can get a feel for it, understand is this something I wanna do? Is this actually a job that I'd like? I'm gonna give you the summary of all that right now. So a data analyst just uses information to make educated decisions. And actually, we are all natural data analysts. We are constantly making decisions off information. And that could be something as simple as taking a different way to work because you can see there's traffic ahead. Or something a little bit more nuanced like picking a long-term partner. She's cute, she's funny, she has 300,000 points in Snapchat. Just for the streets. Of course, the videos I've linked in the guide give you a way more technical description of data analytics and the tools you're gonna to be using. It's a lot of SQL to get the data and presenting the data in Excel spreadsheets or something more complicated like Tableau, which is a software that allows you to display graphs and things like that. Okay, now step two. This is the most important step. It's also the longest. It's gonna take you about 174 hours and that's getting the Google Analytics certificate. 150 companies have pledged to accept this certificate in place of a four-year degree. Me, on the other hand, have $87,000 of student loan debt. Don't be like me. This thing costs you $39 a month. Google thinks this could take anywhere between three to six months, depending on how dedicated you are. I've seen people complete it in less time. So why is Google offering something so good for so cheap? It's probably because just in the last 30 days, there have been over 300,000 job openings posted that require data analysis, which is great news for you because you can go from zero to 100 a lot faster than other industries just because of the demand is so high. Okay, here's some huge advice coming up. At the end of the Google Analytics certificate, you're gonna have a personal project Please, please, please make it personal. When I was in college, some students that have projects like the five-year trends of SUV tire pressures in North America, like some super niche thing because they're trying to suck up to an industry or suck up to a professor, don't do that. Other students would have projects like statistically the best ways to win a League of Legends game or a fantasy football auto drafter. The best part about data analytics is you can apply it to almost any field. So whatever your passions are, you can create a project around that passion, absolutely. And you wanna do this for two main reasons. One, it'll absolutely help you get hired. The person interviewing you is gonna ask you about your personal projects, and if you actually enjoy the subject, you can talk in depth, not only about the technical side, but the subject matter side. And have you ever just seen someone talk about something they're super passionate about? It energy will radiate off you. It not only puts them in a good mood, but they end up coming away with the thought of like, wow, this person's really into data analytics. This person's really passionate about what they do. Not only that is if the internet's taught me anything is that no matter how niche your passion is, there are other people in a community around that. My personal project was pretty broad, but the person interviewing me was a musician and my project had to do with music. We were able to nerd out about my project for so long, we actually went over the interview time and at the end he just told me, wow, that's a really interesting and cool project and I think that gave him a great impression of me and helped me get the job I have right now. And number two, if it's something you're passionate about, the time will go by faster. And if you're lucky, you might lose yourself in the project and actually go out of the scope of it and learn new tools just to incorporate it inside. Now we've made it to step three. This is gonna take you around two and a half to four hours. At this point in time, a percentage of you will actually get hired just off your Google certificate alone, which is incredible. But in order for people to understand that you have that Google certificate, you need to upgrade your LinkedIn profile and your resume. And I've included some great videos from data analysts about how to shape a great data analytics resume and a great data analytics LinkedIn page. After the Google Analytics certificate, you have some great skills to put on your resume that companies are looking for. You're gonna have data visualization, you're gonna have Excel, SQL, you're gonna have Tableau. 
Those are all gonna look really good on your resume and on your LinkedIn. You've done the work, you better put them on there. What's cool about this is you get your LinkedIn page looking sexy enough, recruiters will be sliding into your DMs. And now these recruiters are a great resource, okay? They get paid to connect you with jobs. They want you to get hired as much as you wanna get hired. Absolutely, you can utilize these recruiters to help find other skills that are in demand in your industry and connect you and network you with the proper people in proper companies. Okay, step four, unfortunately not everyone at this point is gonna get hired just off their Google certificate alone. So this is gonna be the part where you just hone in and build a better portfolio and get more skills. And I have a tier list about what you should focus on and where you should get those skills from. S tier, if you're working for a company that has access to any sort of data set, I don't care what it is, anything where you can use some of your newfound skills at your current position, that's incredible. I don't care how small the data set is or what exactly you're doing, just use some sort of analytics in your position. It'll help out with your resume 100%. And I know some people whose company actually needed the analysis done so much, they created a position specifically for that person and they were able to just become an analyst at the company they were at. A tier is gonna be talking to your recruiters and asking them what certificates are the most in demand or where you can improve your resume. Now be careful here because not every boot camp or certificate is highly accredited and recognized in the industry. Even I could create a certificate, that means nothing. Austin Abate is association of badass rock star data analytics, trust me, hire this person, they're incredible, and you could stick it on your wall, it's not gonna do a thing. What's really cool about analytics, there's some big names behind some of these certificates. MIT has a certificate, Harvard has a certificate, where you don't need to go to that college, you could just get the certificate, but seeing Harvard on a resume, seeing MIT on your resume, that's gonna really help you stick out. I'm gonna rank this next one A tier as well, only because it depends on the project and it's kind of high risk, high reward. A personal project you did for your Google Analytics certificate, if you can see a big scope of it, I would build that out as big as you can, make an app, try to make a website out of it. Luckily for me, I lived in a big city where there were a lot of these data meetups where you could actually go and present your projects. People would go specifically looking for talent. It's a great networking opportunity. Who knows who's connected with someone with an open position. It's so much better for your resume to be handed in internally than just on like ZipRecruiter or something. So getting your personal project to a great place is good for your portfolio and it's gonna teach you how to go out and learn skills kind of by yourself. Sometimes you need something very specific when you're doing something for a project and you're able to just Google it. Trust me, a lot of this job is Googling things. Some people are gonna be able to complete this whole process really quickly. Some is gonna take more months. Don't get discouraged and don't give up. Trust me, this is a great field to get into. One last thing on that, you want to travel with using data analytics, I would focus on applying for smaller companies. They often don't have big corporate policies about working overseas. And even if they do, managers are a lot more flexible. You might have to work there for a few months and prove yourself. And I have a lot of tips about addressing managers' concerns before you present something like working in Mexico for 30 days. Right about now, other YouTubers would be able to point to other videos. I don't have any other videos, so I'm just gonna point to the subscribe and like button. Thank you guys for watching this. Oh, the comment section. I'm planning on giving out as much value as possible. So whatever questions you have, whether it's data analytics referenced, whether it's dating or just traveling referenced, just whatever you guys want to hear me talk about, I'm here for y'all. Thank you so much.